Well, I was, na I was an athlete all of my life. Um, my identity was to be physically fit. It always was. And the next thing I know, I'm looking at a... I'm not supposed to do that. That's weird. Uh, looking at... Um, rheumatoid arthritis you think of as something that your grandparents get uh, and they hurt and they move slow and I'm thinking what what did I do wrong what what did I do to have this uh, at that time you know I I pretty much came to the conclusion I I lost everything Every part of me hurt. Like I, when I tried to get out of bed, I felt like I was walking on glass. Uh, I was, it was really scary for me because I've always been um, a pretty strong guy, and, and suddenly I, I felt like I couldn't move. Uh, I almost felt like I was in a, in a cast of, uh, of concrete, you know, and I was breaking it every time I moved. I have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. I had a lot of issues with my hands, my wrists, and at times my elbows. You're already having this this weird dull pain if something strikes it it's almost like a tuning fork where it, it just ripples out i have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis i'm also trying out for the fire department at the time and next thing i know i'm dealing with this this awful disease where every time i move it hurts i'm sure people thought that I didn't care to go have fun, and people will only ask you to do things so many times when you continue to answer them no, they'll eventually stop. It started getting really hard for me to get my hands to work appropriately, and every morning I had to wake up two hours early just so I could get everything moving right. And being a firefighter, the guys have to be able to rely on me, and I never wanted to put anyone else at risk. I was taking some, uh, some anti-inflammatory steroids, so a lot of me talking to my doc and, and telling her, you know, if my symptoms were getting better, if they weren't, and, and then what problems I was having, and, and that's when she, she recommended Remicade. I really feel that having a physician that you feel comfortable with is important to the success of um, living with your arthritis. It's not easy to talk about your problems, and sometimes you feel like you're complaining, and uh, I think that communication with my doctor has really provided the, the roots for being able to get everything in place. We tried conventional therapies. Unfortunately, I didn't have fabulous results. Um, so we really had to work to try to find what was going to work best for my situation. We talked about some of the potential side effects of different therapies, and we eventually arrived at the decision to try Remicade, and Remicade has worked wonderfully for me. Just the use of my hands, being able to open a bottle, um, being able to do all the things that, that you take for granted. Um, I don't get the achiness in my, in my fingers and joints. I don't um, have the swelling that I used to. I had a lot of restrictions where I couldn't straighten my elbows, and I'm happy to say I can straighten them all the way now. Remicade for me, uh, the difference it's made in my life. I know that I feel good and my body works, and, and I don't want anyone taking that away. Changing medications, excuse me, that is that's tough. If they said I can't do it anymore, um, that would be tough. I tell the doctors, no way in hell you're taking me off this medication. I don't quite understand why you would want me to change when it's already doing very well. It's one of those where if it's not broke, why fix it? I would suggest that you have a good conversation with your doctor and, and do everything you can to stay on what works. I'm going to talk to my doctor about staying on Remicade. Remicade has really allowed me to accept the arthritis, but you don't have to suffer. So I feel like I can go out there and, and tell others that it's okay to have it. For me personally, it's, it's a medication that I respond well to and that has kept my disease manageable. Now, being a father is, is number one. It, it's above the job, it's above everything else. And, and I get to not only just be a father, but I, I get to be the father I want to be. I get to play with my kids, play soccer with my daughter, stuff that I wouldn't be able to do without it. That's, that's invaluable. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Important safety information. Only your doctor can recommend a course of treatment after checking your health condition. Remicade, infliximab, can cause serious side effects such as lowering your ability to fight infections. 
Some patients, especially those 65 years and older, have had serious infections caused by viruses, fungi, or bacteria that have spread throughout the body, including tuberculosis, TB, and histoplasmosis. Some of these infections have been fatal. Your doctor should monitor you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during treatment with Remicade. Unusual cancers have been reported in children and teenage patients taking TNF blocker medicines. Hepatosplenic T-cell lymphoma, a rare form of fatal lymphoma, has occurred mostly in teenage or young adult males with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis who were taking Remicade and azathioprine or 6-mercaptopurine. For children and adults taking TNF blockers, including Remicade, the chances of getting lymphoma or other cancers may increase. You should discuss any concerns about your health and medical care with your doctor. What should I tell my doctor before I take Remicade? You should let your doctor know if you have or ever had any of the following, tuberculosis, TB, or have been near someone who has TB. Your doctor will check you for TB with a skin test. If you have latent, inactive TB, you will begin TB treatment before you start Remicade. Lived in a region where certain fungal infections like histoplasmosis or coccidioidomycosis are common. Infections that keep coming back, have diabetes or an immune system problem. Any type of cancer or a risk factor for developing cancer. For example, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or had phototherapy for psoriasis. Heart failure or any heart condition. Many people with heart failure should not take Remicade. Hepatitis B virus, HBV infection, or think you may be a carrier of HBV. Your doctor will test you for HBV. Nervous system disorders, like multiple sclerosis or Guillain-Barre syndrome. Also tell your doctor if you use the medicines Kinneret, Anakinra, Orencia, Abatacept, or Actemra, Tocilizumab, or other medicines called biologics used to treat the same problems as Remicade, are pregnant, plan to become pregnant, are breastfeeding, or have a baby and were using Remicade during your pregnancy. Tell your baby's doctor about your Remicade use. If your baby receives a live vaccine within six months after birth, your baby may develop infections with serious complications that can lead to death. Recently received or are scheduled to receive a vaccine. Adults and children taking Remicade should not receive live vaccines or treatment with a weakened bacteria, such as BCG for bladder cancer, while taking Remicade. What should I watch for and talk to my doctor about before or while taking Remicade? The following serious, sometimes fatal side effects have been reported in people taking Remicade. You should tell your doctor right away if you have any of the signs listed below. Infections like TB, blood infections, pneumonia, fever, tiredness, cough, flu, or warm red or painful skin or any open sores. Remicade can make you more likely to get an infection or make any infection that you have worse. Reactivation of HBV, feeling unwell, poor appetite, tiredness, fever, skin rash and or joint pain, lymphoma, or any other cancers in adults and children, skin cancer, any changes in or growths on your skin, cervical cancer. Your doctor may recommend that you be regularly screened. Some women with rheumatoid arthritis, particularly those over 60, have developed cervical cancer, heart failure, new or worsening symptoms, such as shortness of breath, swelling of your ankles or feet, or sudden weight gain. Other heart problems within 24 hours of infusion, including heart attack, low blood flow to the heart, or abnormal heart rhythm, chest discomfort or pain, arm pain, stomach pain, shortness of breath, anxiety, lightheadedness, dizziness, fainting, sweating, nausea, vomiting, fluttering or pounding in your chest, and or a fast or a slow heartbeat, liver injury, jaundice, yellow skin and eyes, dark brown urine, right-sided abdominal pain, fever or severe tiredness, blood disorders, fever that doesn't go away, bruising, bleeding or severe paleness, nervous system disorders, numbness, weakness, tingling, changes in your vision or seizures, stroke within 24 hours of infusion, numbness or weakness of the face, arm or leg, especially on one side of the body, sudden confusion, trouble speaking or understanding, sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes, sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination, or a sudden severe headache, allergic reactions during or after the infusion, hives, difficulty breathing, chest pain, high or low blood pressure, and fever or chills. Delayed allergic reactions, three to 12 days after infusion. Fever, rash, headache, sore throat, muscle or joint pain, swelling of the face and hands or difficulty swallowing. Lupus-like syndrome, chest discomfort or pain that does not go away, shortness of breath, joint pain, rash on the cheeks or arms that gets worse in the sun. Psoriasis, new or worsening psoriasis such as red scaly patches or raised bumps on the skin that are filled with pus. 
The most common side effects of Remicade include respiratory infections that may include sinus infections and sore throat, headache, rash, coughing, and stomach pain. Please see full product information, including boxed warning and medication guide for Remicade available at www.remicade.com and discuss any questions you have with your doctor. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.